what is up people uh, pranam here back with another video now uh, along with yesterday's video there was one more announcement which i believe i didn't make it's that uh, this second channel this where i do these kinds of uh, shorter lower effort videos along with live streams the ones where i'm talking to you guys responding to chat or responding to comments those live streams and these kinds of shorter videos those are going to be on this channel the main channel is for the uh, deeper dive videos and the podcasts and there's one more announcement for a third channel either i've already announced it when this video comes out or um, i will be announcing it soon either way there's going to be a third channel coming out i'm doing all this uh, only to make my work more financially viable because um, yeah uh, one thing that's stopping me from uh, doing more stuff more often is the fact that uh, you know income on youtube is a little harder to earn mainly because my audience is mostly indians and the ad rates on youtube india are unfortunately much lower so yeah that's one reason why i'm having to do this but with that said i will react to today's video so three principles, eat the food God called food, meat, fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grain, legumes. That's God's food. Anything outside that is a lab experiment. Eat it as close to his original state as possible. So an example, eat the orange versus drinking the orange juice, right? Right. Eat God's whole food. Like eat eat the whole cauliflower versus the cauliflower rice, okay? Like the, the broccoli shouldn't be mushy, okay? The cabbage shouldn't be mushy. Collard greens shouldn't be mushy. That's, that's where the nutrients are, right? And then the third principle is do not allow any food to become your God, which means no addictions. So that's where the sugar comes in, the sugar, the, the salt, the, the, the chocolate, the chips, like all this. So I listened to all that and there's a great deal of oversimplification here. I don't know if she's using God as a metaphor in what she's saying, God's food, God, what God made, eat, what, eat only that. Uh, or if she's, you know, just saying it in the, uh, I mean, just for oversimplifying, because in the end she says, uh, don't need uh, don't let any food become your god so what god is also not allowed to become god by that logic right i know instead of her god belief here i think we should look at what she says on diet over here now broadly there are some things to be agreed with here and some things that have been greatly oversimplified here that I should talk about I feel and so let's watch that video again and this time I'll pause at each part and talk about what she's saying in each part. So three principles, eat the food God called food, meat, fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grain, legumes. That's God's food. Anything outside that is a lab experiment. So what she's trying to say here is eat only something natural and anything that's not natural is a lab experiment uh, i i don't know what she means but i strongly believe what she's trying to peddle is chemophobia or, or a fear of chemicals or a fear of anything that's artificial see the thing is your body cannot distinguish between foods based on their source if you have a sugar molecule that's been made in a lab that's been manufactured chemically and a sugar molecule that's coming directly from say a fruit your body cannot distinguish between those two it'll just process it the way the body processes sugar this fear of uh, eat only something that's natural and don't eat something that's artificial is doesn't carry any weight now there is some uh, some parts i do have to agree with because if you do eat something that's m mostly natural you tend to get say a lot more fiber and a lot more of some micronutrients that may not be there in some processed foods uh, so nutrition wise it may be beneficial in some cases to eat something that's more natural that is not true in every case there are cases where you cannot eat certain foods unless it's processed like for example you can't eat raw rice for example you have to process it to some degree before you can cook it at home except in such cases say in the case of certain vegetables and fruits eating stuff raw tends to get you more nutrition than uh, eating something that's artificial but say artificially we are able to make every component of nutrition that these raw foods provide 
then yeah go the artificial one too because your body can't tell the difference and you're getting every nutritional requirement that you need right so that is uh, one caveat see see how all this nuance that i have to say uh, takes me a lot more a lot longer in a video than this 90 second reel like all the bs that she said just took her a few seconds to say it right and for me to break down all the nuance takes me a lot longer like you've spent much longer watching me talk about all this that's a problem with all this bs let's keep going eat it as close to its original state as possible so an example eat the orange versus drinking the orange juice right? right eat god's whole food like eat eat the whole cauliflower versus the cauliflower rice okay like the the broccoli shouldn't be mushy okay the cabbage shouldn't be mushy collard greens shouldn't be mushy that's that's where the nutrients are right and then the third so again a uh, part of this is something i explained uh, in the previous point itself uh whole foods tend to contain a lot more nutrition so uh, processing does remove some of that nutrition so keeping that in mind yes eat more whole fruits and veg especially eat more whole fruits natural fruits raw fruits uh, but if those nutrients can be made available if all that fiber can be made available in the processed food then again there's no difference between raw and the artificial forms so don't make an over simplified divide of eat only natural don't eat processed take care of your nutrition as much as possible that's it principle is do not allow any food to become your god which means no addictions so that's where the sugar comes in the sugar the the salt the the, the chocolate the chips like all this that's also kind of true but it's been over simplified uh, your body can process a lot of sugar a lot of salt in a single instance um a lot of chocolate see it can process it but if you make a regular habit of doing it all the time eating a lot of sugar salt or chocolates or whatever addictive foods chips whatever then your body is overwhelmed and you get lots of medical conditions lots of diseases as a result of that but fearing it and keeping yourself from enjoying life once in a while uh, a few times a month is fine and i've made an instagram reel too talking about exactly how much sugar you can have as per uh, some very highly reputed food authorities so don't call them addictive foods i think that's an oversimplification you can eat something sweet enjoy life a little if you're celebrating if it's a happy moment for you go ahead have a sweet or two it's fine it won't hurt you you can even have a lot lot of sweets if you're not having it regularly if you're not making a habit of it because your body can process it but be aware of how many calories you're eating uh, packaged foods always have exactly how much calories you're getting per serving per quantity whatever uh, so be aware of all that and uh, yeah don't need too many refined carbohydrates because like i said it will lead to a host of medical conditions but once in a long while you are allowed to have these foods as well that's about it for this reel i think i will see you in the next one